If you're looking for the absolute most bang for your buck, this video is for you. We're diving into Maricopa today. Let's get started. All right, getting right into it. We are talking about Maricopa. First thing I want to preference is we are actually talking about Maricopa the city, not Maricopa County. Those two are commonly confused. So I'm going to just show you guys what Maricopa County looks like really quick. Maricopa County is pretty much, yeah, the entire Phoenix metro area. And then kind of Maricopa is actually in Pinal County. So kind of confusing. But anyways, I just wanted to preface that in the bit, very beginning of this video. And then I'm going to show you guys where actually Maricopa is. So you guys can see that as we're kind of getting started in this video as well. I think that the outline of this is a little bit skewed. I think Maricopa is a little bit bigger now because it has grown quite a bit over the last few years, but it is one of the most affordable places to live in the Phoenix metro area, not just East Valley versus West Valley. For people that are brand new to this channel, I'm going to kind of explain East Valley versus West Valley because I think that can get kind of confusing. So. Like I said, if you're new to this channel, let me explain that really quick. So if you took the I-17, which is this freeway right here, that kind of cuts Phoenix right down the middle. On the left-hand side, you are going to be in the West Valley. On the right-hand side, you're going to be in the East Valley. East Valley is very much more expensive than the West Valley, but Maricopa is one of those diamonds in the rough, and it is one of the most affordable, actually, in all of the Phoenix metro, in my opinion, um, within that kind of first... 45 minutes from this kind of main hub of Phoenix. So we'll talk about that real quick. So you, again, Maricopa is right down here at the bottom of the screen. And then you have to kind of go up here and drive down here and then up here. And then you're in the Phoenix area. That is literally probably about 45 minutes. So not too bad, especially, you know, I help a lot of people from this channel and 45 minutes is just like a walk in the park for you guys. It's not that big of a deal, but for me, 45 minutes is a lot. So depending on kind of your lifestyle and what you're looking for, that might be too far. That's something to keep in mind. I'm going to show you also really quickly how to kind of do like the timing for yourselves. I know some people don't know how this works, so I want to explain it really quick. If I was going to do Phoenix, Arizona, right? So a lot of you guys are working downtown Phoenix or something along those lines. This is why I think it's really important to do what exactly I'm going to show you how to do is because Phoenix Metro is not Phoenix Metro. Phoenix, the city is very large. This portion of Phoenix is going to add you probably another 40 minutes onto your time if you're coming from Maricopa. So that'd be really, really far. If you tell me, oh, I work in Phoenix, that might be a little confusing for me. So what I want you to do is go ahead and we're going to do this little direction button right here. So you can type in right here, maybe your, uh, your office address would be a good spot to start, right? You press directions and we'll type in the city that you're looking for. You can use this for any city. If you're looking in Goodyear, you can use it for that. Let's go park. Of course, it's a lot easier for me to explain these things whenever we do our Zoom calls because Goodyear, for example, is huge. Goodyear is all the way right here, but Goodyear is also all the way right here. So that could be a 30 minute difference. If you're looking to move and be close to Phoenix, downtown Phoenix, it could be really confusing on the timing. So I go over all of that with you guys in our Zoom calls. If you're interested in setting up a Zoom call with me, I do have links for all of that stuff down below. So go ahead and check those out or my number and email are popping up right here. So you can always text or call me or email me. So we are going to type in Maricopa right here again, Maricopa AZ, not Maricopa County AZ, because that is of course the county. So look, 48 minutes. So we're kind of getting into that traffic time. It is 212 right now on a Monday. So we are kind of ranging into the traffic. I would say if you are working kind of like your typical nine to five, Maricopa is going to get pretty heavy traffic. So be prepared for that. This is a two, most of the time it's two in, two out. So if you kind of get into, if anyone gets into a fender bender, hopefully, you know, we don't, but things happen. If anyone gets into a fender bender, this becomes a huge annoyance when it comes to traffic. But again, the price point might make up for that. It'll be dependent on you guys and your situation. So I'm going to show you, for example, 
if we're kind of thinking, okay, my work's gonna be around like the actual downtown, downtown Phoenix, then you're looking at about 48 minutes versus, let me zoom out here really quick to show you guys kind of what you can do here. If you typed in your actual address, it would obviously be a little bit different, but you can also move this and go up here. So this, wait, let's see, move up here, keep moving. So now we're in like more of the North Phoenix area, which this whole area could be really considered like downtown-ish vibes. It's definitely more city vibes in this area. So anyways, point being is now we're looking at an hour and eight minutes. So make sure you are using Google Maps as kind of like a cross-reference as you guys are searching for homes. I think it's really important and a nifty tool that you should definitely use. Also, another thing to mention is you can kind of change the timing, right? So if we leave now, it's gonna be different than say if we leave, let's say departing at 3 p.m. today. Now you can see, obviously those are gonna be the traffic times. The traffic has extended about 45 minutes, 40 minutes-ish. Um, so that totally makes sense to me. But you guys can use this for whatever your normal traffic times are gonna be or whatever your normal um, commute time is gonna be. I would definitely type those in. So that's that. We're talking about not without traffic, about 45 minutes to this portion of Phoenix. Airport's right here, so maybe 40 minutes to that for Maricopa. And then you also have another airport right here. This is the Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport. This is a smaller airport. You're not gonna be able to fly everywhere out of this, but that might be an option for you, and that will probably be around 45 minutes as well. So coming down this way, as we are kind of descending Phoenix and heading into Maricopa, this like darker gray area is all gonna be the Gila River Indian Reservation. There's not a lot of built over in this area, maybe a casino, a couple homes, of course, um, but not a lot going on down here. And you kind of have to go all through that in order to get to Maricopa. And this is pretty much all dirt right here. There's some construction going on here and there, but nothing too crazy. And then we are in Maricopa. Maricopa is a very, very small town. There's, I would say, not very, very small. Depends on where you're coming from again. My definition of small is definitely Maricopa, but I live in like the heart of a huge subdivision, right? So there's a lot of people around me and I consider this small town. Anyways, as we kind of zoom in here, I'm gonna show you guys the different shops that are available here. There is not much. So again, if you want to be able to have close proximity to like a Target and all of that kind of stuff, it's not super close. I'm zooming out again one more time to show you guys exactly where some of those other shopping options are going to be outside of actually in Maricopa. And right when you get into this area is kind of when you're gonna have a lot more shopping options, which isn't too bad. It's probably about a 15 to 20 minute drive. So if you're not planning on coming into this area very often, or you don't find yourself going shopping very often or wanting to like have close proximity to those kind of things and really only need the essentials, actually living in Maricopa would be a pretty awesome deal, especially when I get into the housing prices with you guys. So zooming in here, your main shopping is going to literally be this little yellow area. Um, it's not much like I mentioned, but it definitely has all the essentials. So you have Sprouts, you have Bashes, you have um, Starbucks. You guys know if you're subscribed to this channel, I'm a huge Starbucks person, so I have to be close to a Starbucks. There's also a Dutch Bros. If you guys have that where you live, there is one over here. Um, but there's not like a Costco, there's not a Target, there's not things like that. And I'm not saying that it won't be there eventually. It's definitely grown out a little bit over the last couple of years, but I would say it's not something I'm like, if you want a Target, it's not gonna be there next year by any means. So keep all of that stuff in mind to show you guys kind of what is available in this area. So we got a Bashes, Native Grill and Wings, which is like Native New Yorker. I think they just like rebranded it or something. They have Jersey Mike's, Chipotle, Planet Fitness over here, IHOP, Culver's, a restaurant. There's definitely a couple of restaurants and a lot of more chain restaurants slash fast food options. I am, I know this is embarrassing to admit, but I'm definitely a fast food girly. I am usually on the go. So that's kind of my uh, main, option that I go with, right? So this would be perfect for me. It kind of has all the restaurants that I like, like Culver's, Jersey Mike's, um, Chipotle, all that kind of stuff, which again, 
Don't judge me. Um, Marshalls is really cool because they're, I, I love Marshalls. And I also love Home Goods and Target and stuff like that. And again, those things aren't there. That might be added eventually, but who knows? And then pretty much other than that, I mean, there's a couple random like gas stations, coffee shops, uh, along the, things along those lines. But majority of this area is pretty much housing or like golf courses or something along those lines. So, and there's also a casino right here. So if you need proximity to lots of things, I don't know that Maricopa is going to be the right place for you. If that doesn't matter to you, then Maricopa might be the right place for you. And of course you don't know until you come out here or we kind of dive deeper into exactly what you and your family are looking for. If you want to sit down and do a chat like that with me, you can always schedule a Zoom call. My number and email are popping up. You guys can text me, email me, and I believe I have a link for you guys to actually sign up to get on the schedule for that as well. But I really dive into what your family's looking for and kind of matching you with the appropriate city based off of your wants and needs and also proximity to whatever you want. So Maricopa is pretty much that. Let me talk a little bit about the pricing. I know that's super important to so many of you guys. If you're looking for the most bang for your buck, Maricopa is, and you wanna be close-ish to Phoenix Metro, not too far out, right? Maricopa is such a great deal. I actually am helping one of you guys right now kind of look in this Maricopa area and a couple other spots. And I totally agree with them. It's like, this is going to be the absolute most bang for your buck. So we were looking at about 3000 square foot new homes. And some of those were priced at 420, which is absolutely insane. They even have some homes under 300,000, which even in, for example, I talk about Buckeye a lot on this channel. Buckeye is one of the most affordable places to live in the West Valley. Granted, it's a lot more built out than Maricopa, but you can't even find a home under 350 in this area, let alone under 300 like you can in Maricopa. So I think that's really important if you're looking to just dip your toe into the housing market and like home ownership, this is a really good spot to look look at if you're on a budget or if you get just want more bang for your buck because you're not going to get a $400,000 house at 300, 3,000 square foot, lots of numbers here, Nicole, 3,000 square foot home in Buckeye for the same price. You're going to be probably closer to 450. Again, about a $50,000 gap, I would say in between kind of those prices from Maricopa to Buckeye, which is the more affordable location in the West Valley. And there are definitely more affordable spots. So I kind of want to do some honorable mentions more than anything. Casa Grande, uh, Florence, Coolidge, and then also Santan Valley. Those are going to be some of your other affordable places to live in the East Valley. If you guys want me to do videos on any of those, I definitely will. Just leave a comment down below and I'll get started on that. I should have done the Maricopa one a long time ago. I have a feeling you guys are going to love it. So... I'm glad I'm finally doing that, but I think the push after showing um, one of you guys some homes out in that area, I was like, okay, I really need to do it because I think the, the people need to know that people need to know it's a good deal. So Casa Grande is really cool. It's a little bit further. All of these, Casa Grande, Coolidge, and Florence are definitely a little bit further from Phoenix. So if you don't mind driving a little bit further, that's awesome. Santan is probably the next closest, a little bit more expensive than Maricopa, but beautiful homes out in that area as well. And hmm, one more thing I wanted to mention about Maricopa, and this kind of goes back to the more bang for your buck. If you're looking for more lot sizes, right? right I would say 6,000 square foot is kind of more common, right? But if you're looking for houses with more land, Maricopa is going to have more options. As you kind of spread away from Phoenix, as always, you're gonna get more and more affordable. So Maricopa will have good options for that. I mean, they have seriously some really, really pretty properties out in Maricopa. If you guys are interested in it, I can definitely post some maybe on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow that, I have a little link to it or I put my username or something like that at the very end of this video. And then also if you guys are interested in looking at more city tours and kind of you're just maybe in the beginning processes on what city you're actually gonna look at, um, I do have playlists for that at the end of this video. And I think that's pretty much it for Maricopa. It's a simple, simple town 
but it is super, super affordable. And I think that it's going to be a really good place to live and move to in 2024. If you guys have questions, let me know again, number and email are popping up, but until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.